the Forest Preserves of Cook County for our official ribbon cutting. Uh, would like to start the opening remarks by introducing Madam President Tony Preckwinkle. Good morning, everyone. At moments like this in the Forest Preserves, we begin with a land acknowledgement. We acknowledge that we are on the ancestral homelands of the Council of Three Fires, the Ojibwe, the Ottawa, and the Potawatomi, and a place of trade with many other tribes, including the Ho-Chunk, the Miami, the Menominee, Sauk, and Mishwaki. As a land management agency, we acknowledge that we've played a role in shaping the histories of local Native Americans by acquiring this land. We also recognize, share, and celebrate the history of all local Native Americans and their more immemorial ties to this land. We commit ourselves to developing deeper partnerships that advocate for the progress, dignity, and humanity of the many diverse Native Americans who live and practice their heritage and traditions on this land today. This ribbon cutting and open house for Sand Ridge is a wonderful opportunity to get together and celebrate. I want to thank those who've joined us today, including General Superintendent Arnold Randall, Commissioner Stan Moore, Commissioner Donna Miller. Is that is that is Stevens here? Did I miss him? Okay. Um, Director Colleen Callahan from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. I think staff member Lisa Kotner is also here. And Stephen Del, Fal Del Falco and the staff here at Sand Ridge Nature Center and, and staff from many of the departments in the forest preserves. The Calumet region is a special part of Cook County. Where we stand right now was once under the waters of Lake Chicago, the ancient precursor to Lake Michigan. The patterns of dunes and swales left from the retreating lakeshore has created a unique set of wetland and woodland habitats. Those sandy ridges were also a great pathway for the earliest humans who lived in the region, the Native Americans who created trails and set the course for European settlers, and then the roads that supported Calumet's industrial legacy. The natural and cultural history of this region is a big part of what visitors today will find in the redesigned Sand Ridge Nature Center, along with displays and exhibits that show kids and adults the native plants and animals that call this area home. All parts of the Sand Ridge campus share the natural and cultural heritage of the region, a resource that is available to us because this 585-acre gem has been protected as part of the forest preserves. The forest preserves are an amazing resource that belongs to all of us. Everyone is welcome in the forest preserves. The project we're celebrating today is part of the forest preserves investment in suburban Cook County. I'm proud that the Sand Ridge campus offers local residents and visitors so many opportunities to learn something new, to have fun, to relax, or get exercise out in nature. Special thanks to Director Callahan and the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. We in the Forest Preserves have invested approximately $1.6 million here at Sand Ridge, and that includes a generous support from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources Open Space Lands Acquisition and Development Program. Mouthful. Over the years, these funds have been a critical resource for our initiatives across the county. And the Sand Ridge Campus Project would not have been possible without the support of IDNR. My thanks and congratulations to Superintendent Arnold Randall and his staff, everybody who helped create the Sand Ridge Campus. Your efforts have ensured that this special place will be able to be enjoyed by generations of Cook County residents for years to come. And now I would ask that uh, Superintendent Randall, come to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Good morning. Good morning. I am really excited to be here at Sand Ridge today. This has been uh, a pro many projects coming together, uh, and it's been a lot of work, and there's a lot of people to recognize today. Um, I want to thank you and everyone who came out today to enjoy Sand Ridge, uh, the Sand Ridge campus, so we're rebranding it as well. I hope you can stay for a while and see the, the, all that it offers. There's something uh, here for everybody. Sand Ridge Campus is a natural theme park. This campus is a concept like nowhere else in the forest preserves. 
We saw an opportunity to connect and augment an amazing mix of our existing resources in this square mile that many people may not have even known about. A family would come to a big reunion at one of our picnic groves, not realizing that a nature center, this one, was right around the corner. Visitors at a campsite didn't know that a there was a nearby aquatic center or fishing or a chance to hike on a boardwalk through, through wetlands. So a big part of what we've done here is to create a more cohesive campus that encourages people to explore the full range of outdoor activities and to get out into nature. That includes a campus-wide design standard, new wayfaring, and informational signs to welcome visitors. And throughout the campus, amenities are new and improved. That starts with the Sand Ridge Nature Center itself. The interior is fully redesigned and rebuilt, and I'm excited for you all to see it, with new beautiful interactive exhibits that make a school field trip or an afternoon visiting an interesting educational experience. At Camp Shabona Woods, less than a quarter mile of away, old fences have been taken down and new trails have been added through the woods. At Green Lake, we've added fishing outcroppings for anyone who wants to try their luck at catching a largemouth bass, bluegill, or rainbow trout. A new 1.3 paved uh, mile paved trail along Paxton Avenue and 159th Street connects to Nature Center, Green Lake, the Aquatic Center, and into the regional Burnham Greenway Trail System. Along the way, bikers and pedestrians can stop and enjoy a new piece of a landscape art that interprets the area's dune and swale environment. We've been improving the natural world around here as well. Our district-wide restoration plan has identified the Sand Ridge Complex as a top priority for ecological restoration. And for years, we've been bringing the oak savannas and highly diverse wetlands back to health. With the campus initiative, our, our staff and our Conservation Corps and Green Corps members have removed another 30 acres of invasive brush surrounding the Nature Center grounds. Native plants coming back include rose mallow, sassafras, and several species of oak tree. This kind of restoration work is a priority for the forest preserves. Not only does it build healthy ecosystems where native wildlife can thrive, it is more open and welcoming to enjoy. You can see the difference, and you really can. If you've been coming out here for any amount of time, you can see the landscapes have changed. They've become more open and more transparent. Along with, this, along with improving this campus, we've been offering more programs and expanding our cultural programs too, including more African-American history year-round and more Native American history as well. Along with, alongside with infrastructure, we're doing more to bring in local residents and to connect to local organizations. At the Forest Preserves, we want to be a resource and a partner for the community. And the efforts at Sand Ridge Nature Center and the team here are a great example of that work. A big project like the Sand Ridge Campus only happens with a lot of hard work by a lot of people. So bear with me for a moment while I express my appreciation to a pretty long list of talented people and organizations. First, I want to recognize our grant administrator, Michelle Uding, for her vision and connecting the dots to make this happen. Michelle, can you raise your hand? <laughs> project managers Dan White and Lori Naiman for a tremendous job on the project that was on budget and on time. Dan and Lori. Chip O'Leary in our resource management department for the amazing, amazing ecological restoration work. Chip. Back there. Jackie Ulrich, Nina Baki, Art Matthews in our conservation and experiential program department for helping to guide the project and their attention to the details. Chris Slattery and Pam Selsky in the planning and development department and Christopher Burke Engineering for all the work on the trails. Liz Milan and the landscape maintenance team, and Tom Rohner and uh, the fleet and facilities uh, for getting up the signs and the, and the buildings ready. So Tom, I see. I don't see <laughs> Loyola University's History Department, the American Indian Center, the Illinois State Archaeological Survey uh, for sharing their research and expertise. <laughs> Got a few more, so bear with me. Our outstanding team of consultants who brought us creativity and care to the project, Space House, Favex Technologies, Panoceanic, Western Remac, and Miracle Works. <laughs> I want to thank the Illinois Department of Nat Natural Resources OSLAD program for funding that, this project that, that brought this project to life and allowed us to do so many great things. Thank you, IDNR. <laughs> IDOT. Uh, the Illinois Department of Transportation and their Transportation Enhancement Program for funding the trail spur. And finally, I particularly want to thank Stephen DeFalco. You heard Stephen speak earlier, who's the center director, and every member of the 
Sand Ridge campus staff. They work really hard every day to bring programming and to connect with communities. I just want to thank them for all their work and all the work they're going to be doing in the future. <laughs> thank you so much. And now we'd like to hear from a couple of our commissioners. We'll begin with Stanley Moore and then Commissioner Donna Miller. Thank you, Madam President. Let's give her another round of applause, please. First, I want to acknowledge the Cook County Board President, Tony Preckwinkle, Cook County Forest Preserve Superintendent Arnold Randall, Deputy General Superintendent Ms. Feigl, my colleagues, Commissioner Miller, and all the dignitaries in attendance. Let's give them another round of applause, please. I'm very proud to be the commissioner of this district. Uh, I love to identify, I love to advocate, I love to support collaborations like this one with, between the state of Illinois, Cook County, and local governments and institutions that provide other resources and service for us. This is important for our community to thrive. Today we celebrate the partnership between Cook County, Cook County Forest Preserve, Illinois Department of Natural Resources, and Illinois Department of Transportation. The purpose of these enhancements is to maintain, preserve, and educate, and further environmentalists, naturalists, and conservationists. This one square mile of various nature facilities will host activities such as swimming, hiking, fishing, camping, to provide Cook County residents with a sense of community and family. So as we celebrate today, I challenge the residents of Cook County to take full advantage of this natural resource center. Spend time exploring, learning, and having fun right here in our own backyards. As your Cook County Commissioner, this is the part of the job that I really do enjoy. The event of this reason, the, this event is the reason why I'm here today and the reason why we are all here today, providing opportunities and resources for our residents. Today is an extension of the strategy to build our communities for the residents of the 4th District. I'm very proud, and I know Arnold doesn't like to brag, but the President and the Superintendent have invested a lot of money into the 4th District. And I'm very proud of that fact. They didn't say that they spent $8 million on a closed campground, which is now a beautiful camping facility with log cabins and with uh, um, fireplaces for burning and archery and things for our children to enjoy. No longer do we want closed facilities and, and amenities that the public can't use. So I'm very proud that they spent $8 million on that, the $1.6 million for the Sand Ridge, the millions that they've invested in bike trails and walking paths, and the, the great work that they've done at Green Lake. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you being here today. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm honored to be here with you today. Madam President, General Su and Superintendent Randall, Director Callahan, my colleague, Cook County Commissioner, Stanley Moore and other distinguished guests, as well as all of you who joined us this morning for the ribbon cutting to celebrate this really fantastic jewel that's here in our forest preserve in the Southland. Um, uh, as a mom, I've been here many times with my children in the double stroller, which they don't remember, but uh, they do remember coming when they were students at Laren Montessori School, and I know they come here quite a bit to participate in what goes on here at the Nature Center, and I see lots of kids here today, so I'll be anxious to hear from the kids what they give the big thumbs up as they view the Nature Center. We were also just here last month here to celebrate Juneteenth as Cook County, as my colleague Stanley Moore led the way to making that a, a holiday. And it's such a beautiful location, which is made, made even more beautiful with all the upgrades. And now with the generous support from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, more enhancements have been made that include all the things that were mentioned already, so I won't uh, elaborate on that again, but we're going to go on a tour. But this is really just a way to say the Southland has so many amenities to offer. And Madam President, we just approved a resolution at July 
Forest Preserve meeting to place a referendum on the ballot, which allows voters to decide how we're going to increase what happens here in the Forest Preserve, not just for now, but in the future as well. It was unanimously approved. And it's places like Sandridge that show what can be done, and we ensure that the funding is here to make sure that we are allowing showcasing, not just for today, but as we look forward to the generations to come from these kids who are here today. Um, my district is the sixth district. I bump right up to Stanley Morris district. And we have one third of the forest preserve land holdings and in, in all of Cook County. During this pandemic, we saw the importance of the uh, forest preserve as being a place where people could go, be out in the open, not have to worry about um, having to be too close to people, get exercise and enjoy the community as well as having exercise and uh, out communing with nature and staying mentally fit. So Sandridge Nature Center, Camp Shabona Woods, and the Green uh, Lake Family Aquatic Center are all within a stone's throw of each other here. And there's so much to learn and explore right here in our backyard. So I thank all of you for being here. Thank you, Madam President. I look forward to the tour and seeing the enhancements that were made. Thank you, Commissioner Moore and Commissioner Miller. Uh, last but not least, we'd like to welcome to the podium Director Colleen Callahan. Uh, she's from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources. There we go. Thank you, Madam President, and, and all who are here today. It says a great deal about how much you care about where you are at this moment in time because you've chosen to be here today at this time. And none of us would be here without all of the work that has been done by everyone who's been at the podium uh, and for the acknowledgement, um, as Mr. Randall identified, uh, all who came together. Which brings me to uh, a point that, that I, I can't overlook, and our grants administrator, Lisa Kotner, who is here with baby Ellie. <laughs> And baby Ellie will be one of those beneficiaries uh, of this work for sure. Uh, but Lisa would probably be surprised and disappointed uh, if I didn't talk about three C's that are very foundational to me. And those three C's are communicate, collaborate, and connect. And that's exactly what's happened here. And that's exactly why this project and this campus as it is now presented today have been so successful in that effort because all three of those C's were adhered to, the communication component. It all begins with that. What do we need? What don't we need? What are our options? How should we do this? And then the collaboration, which is obvious, as it has been outlined by so many of the speakers. Individuals, professionals, bodies of government that all came together to collaborate. And then that third C of connection, and that's what this campus, another C, will do. It will connect all of us. And so it may be the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, but it is also the Illinois Department of Natural and Cultural Resources. Because this is about nature, it's also about our history. And so with that, as Madam President said, this is a mouthful when you say the open space land acquisition and development, so that's why we call it OSLAD for short. But it's also important to recognize that these are our tax dollars coming back to us for our benefit. And it reminds me of a quote from Abraham Lincoln who said that the legitimate object of government is to do for a community of people what needs to be done but they cannot do so well or at all in their separate and individual capacities. And when you stop and think about that, I believe what Lincoln believed, that that is how government can be helpful. It's not to say and come and do and tell and show, but rather to be there when needed. And so through the OSLAD grant, which is for every dollar of the real estate transfer tax, for every dollar of that real estate transfer tax in the state of Illinois, 50 cents of that dollar goes to the OSLAD fund. Those are our tax dollars coming back to us. That's how Abraham Lincoln, I think, envisioned us working together. So when you have exhausted all avenues 
of generation of funds to meet a need and you're still dollar short, maybe that's where government can come in and be helpful. And that's exactly what has happened here today. And so when we talk about the Sandridge campus and the enhancements that are all around us and for those that we are about to see, it means that this connection will mean not only that you are acknowledging the history of this site, but also its future for those future generations as well. So while I thank all of you for taking time to be here today, I want to thank all of you for asking us to be your partner. Uh, and I too am looking forward to seeing the future of the Sandridge campus. Thank you very much. All right. Um, at this time, we will be cutting the ribbon.